Hi, I'm Danielle Valiente with Atmosphere Salon. And our question is, what is the effect of perm rods rolled up instead of down? I'm gonna demonstrate this for you using a curling iron just so you can see what different results you would get. What I'd like to point out when I'm teaching these classes is that it doesn't matter necessarily how you roll it. You just have to understand what results are gonna happen when you roll it that way. And if that's the result you're looking for, then great. Roll it how you would like to. But let me just show you so that you can get a visual of what the difference is between rolling it up instead of down. So again, I'm gonna demonstrate it using a curling iron so you can see the results immediately. This first one is gonna be the one that I roll up. So I'm rolling it up and towards the head. I always feel like the visual is worth so much more than just telling you what will happen. And I'm gonna clip it in place just so it cools like that. And then the second one, I'm gonna roll down, which would be towards the shoulders. So I rolled this with a curling iron going up and this with a curling iron going down. Of course, the results are gonna be different depending on what size perm rod you use or what type of perm rod. But again, I'm showing you this with a curling iron so you can see the difference. This is the curl that was rolled up. This is the curl that was rolled down. Now they both kind of follow the same curl pattern, but the difference is, is that rolling it down gives you that little bit more volume at the root area where rolling it up kind of keeps it a little bit flatter there. So that would be the different results you would get. Plus, if you rolled a perm rod up on shorter hair, it would be a more flipped effect as opposed to going under. And that's a demonstration of what would happen if you rolled a perm rod upwards.